welcome to the testing world so in this session we are going to define all the properties properties on the different level like global properties project level properties test suite level properties and test case level properties in soap ui so here we are using free version of the soap ui and i'm going to use all the properties in our test cases so first of all i'm going to global properties so i'm moving to the preferences and we have option of the global properties i'm going to define one more one property over here like country global and giving the value like canada So that we have defined the properties click on ok moving to my project and here we have the property section and if we see we have all options like we can import properties export properties we can sort the properties by its name so all these options which are available in the soap ui pro we are going to get all these options over here as well i'm going to define a property so i'm defining country project and here I'm giving China so we have defined properties at the global level means soap UI level here we have option of the global properties and also we have defined properties at the property at the project level so next I'm moving to the test suite level so I'm coming to the test suite and here so i'm on test suite level defining property like country suite and giving the name like australia now coming to my test case level again we have properties over here so i'm defining a property name country case level and giving the value like India so now we have defined properties at the global level project level suite level and case level I'm going to show you how we can use this property in our steps so first of all uh, i'm enabling my steps i disable them before and coming to my get con currency by country in SOPI pro we have a form option in the form option we can define like uh, uh, we can define the property at the gui level but here we cannot define at the form level because that that only available in the SOPI pro we have to define at the xml level so I'm com coming here like country name here I need to define the country name I'm using dollar curly braces and here inside the curly braces we need to define property so first of all I want to use global property we should remember the name of the property so I'm coming here global property that was the name of the property so I copy this and just place over here so global property can be placed directly so I'm giving the name of the property directly running it and here we are getting data as per Canada because country global world was set Canada so first we have seen how we can pick data from global properties I'm moving to the next part like i want to pick data from project property so again first dollar curly braces now hash inside that project and after that we need to give property name so on project level my property name was this i just copied it and defined over here running it and this time okay one mistake that I have done like project need to mention in capital P 
so p must be capital project and then hash then project level property so i'm running it again and here we get data so we have covered how we can pick properties from global level or project level in SOPUI free version removing this now I want to pick data from the test suite so again hash hash in between test suite and after that suite level property so I'm coming to the suite and my property name was country suite so pick that coming here running and we are getting data on the behalf of India so common option like uh, you know just to keep remember dollar curly braces level name must be in double hash between the hash we need to mention the level name like we are on the test case test suite or the project we have covered project test suite now I'm coming to the test case on test case level that's my property name I have copied that name moving to my test tab giving the name of the property running it and we are getting data means we are pick picking the property in correct way few important things that I want to reiterate like first of all when we want, want to pick the data dollar curly braces inside the curly braces double hash between the hash we need to mention level name like test suite and after the hash we need to give the property name like test suite level we have the property this so copy it and here so it's a case sensitive language means it's a case sensitive work means if you mention like t small it's not going to work so we have to remember this syntax so test suite like t is capital in the test and s is capital in the suite but property name is not case sensitive means my property name was I can check again C capital and S capital I am coming to my step and here I am doing C is small running get and here we get here we see still we are getting data means property name is not case sensitive but default keyword like the test suite test case the level name are case sensitive so here we have covered how we can pick data from different level of properties in soap ui one more important thing we have already discussed in the previous sessions like how we can decide we need to define the property at test suite level case level or we can say project level or global so if you want to use the property in different projects we can define the property in global level means here in the soap ui level we have the option global properties if you want to use the properties inside the project only we can define so here uh, we are going to define properties at the project level if you want to use in the project only if you want to use the prop properties in test suite only then we are going to define at the test suite level in the multiple test cases we can use and if you want to use the property only in the one test case in that case we will define properties on test case level so in multiple test case if you want to use then test suite multiple test suite you want to use we will have to go to the project level so that's all we have for properties in SOAP UI free version. That's all we have. Thanks for watching.